Hi folks, welcome to Handmade Shoes HQ. Today we're going to do some quick modifications that you do every day uh, using the Champion Concave range. Let's pop into the unit and do it. So some simple everyday hind shoe modifications that are made easily on the Champion Concave range. To make the hind shoe narrow, simply straighten the quarters, then locating the shoe at the narrow end of the bit push and straighten the toe quarter, making sure you do exactly the same both sides. Then a quick level up, set the clips on to the desired angle and you are ready to fit. So to widen the shoe, simply move it down the large end of the bic, a couple of three taps at the toe, quick level up, and if you want to straighten the quarter, simply hang it over the narrow end of the bic and some firm blows either side. To square the toe, sometimes it's easy not to even use the anvil, just a few taps in mid-air and that will straighten and square the toe. Square toe, wide toe and narrow toe. Sometimes it's useful to roll or set the toe of a hind shoe, particularly you've got a situation where a horse is dragging his hind feet or towing. So simply locate the shoe at the correct spot on the face of the anvil, depending on how much you want to set. Apply some firm, accurate blows, level up. Set the clips on at the desired angle and you're ready to fit in the same heat. This modification will protect the hoof from wear and will increase the life of the shoe. Sometimes there might be occasions to give a horse some extra lateral support. This can be easily achieved without increasing the weight of the shoe. Spread the lateral branch with a fuller, making sure you sit the blade on the top inside edge of the groove. You'll need to make a few steady passes, then you drop the fuller into the original groove of the section. Make a few passes, then tidy up with a full stop, then flip the shoe over. Hammer box to spread a little bit more. Being very careful not to thin the profile of the shoe, but just to spread the width. It's very easy to do on site and can be very effective. Again, the good strength of profile on the Champion Concave makes this task easy. If you ever have a situation where a horse is moving his hind shoes, a good way to stop this is by putting an extra clip at the toe. Easily achieved with a bob punch in this particular situation. Create a good strong source and then locate the shoe on the edge of the anvil. Drop in your hammer hand as you pull the clip out. Making sure that you just level behind the clip and then you set the clip on right at the base to create a good, strong, functionable clip. You could also do this with a ball pane or a cross pane hammer. Hang the shoe over the edge of the anvil, making sure you have some firm, accurate blows to create the source. Commit to it and then drop in your hammer hand just to create that nice shaped clip, leaving the shoe firm into the side of the anvil. No need to move the shoe away from the anvil. And then again, simply forging at the base. Hind tri-clip, very strong, very effective. For horses slipping on roads, it's always good to apply tungsten pins. Now the Champion Concave shoes have a finished heel, but a nice flat spot so you can drill a nice neat hole. Always center punch before drill in the hole, then simply pop the pins in with a nylon hammer. The pins I'm using here are 5.1 millimeters and the drill bit is 4.6 millimeters. If you don't have a drill press or electricity, it's still easy to do. Just simply pop some nail holes at the end of the shoe. Then get a road nail, pop the road nail in and rip it over. Dead easy to do and very effective. 
All these are very simple everyday hind shoe modifications that are easy to apply to the Champion Concave range. Now for my favourite part of the video. Here he is folks, Tiny Dancer.